Hey guys, today I'm going to do a video about neurographical art. Uh, it's something that I did last Friday on Facebook Live. There's so many cool opportunities with being quarantined at home with different artists and groups uh, doing uh, live feeds and shares. Uh, so hopefully you guys are taking advantage of some of those opportunities. Uh, this one was with the Virginia Art Education Association uh, and a teacher named Cheryl Mehill did the, uh, this workshop. So neurographical art is great because you don't need a lot of supplies and it's very relaxing. So I'm going to start with a pencil and I have a page in my sketchbook open and I'm going to be doing a, an intuitive scribble. Um, and I'm going to think about something that is causing uh, some stress or anxiety, or you could think about a word, and you're gonna kind of scribble the stress out. So I'm starting on the edge of my paper, and I'm just kind of making a crazy-ish kind of line, and it goes off the other edge of the paper. That's really important. It has to start and stop on different edges. Uh, so I could be done. I could also add another line. I kind of have a lot of empty space up in here, so I'm going to do another kind of line, um, kind of ended on the edge of the paper here. I think I'm gonna bring this down there. Uh, you don't want to go too crazy because this can be a tedious process, so don't make too many lines. It's a balance. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, take my Sharpie here, and I'm going to start tracing over some of my lines. I'm eventually going to trace over all my lines. Um, and the goal of this is that you don't want to have any points. You don't want to have any sharp edges. So right here with this, these intersecting lines, I have a whole bunch of crosses and points. So I'm going to round these out. Okay, so I'm taking my Sharpie and no hard edges. So I'm gonna continue this process of outlining all of my lines. And anytime there is a point, I'm going to round this out. And there's no such thing as perfect in art, right? Um, some of these lines are gonna be thicker, some of the lines are gonna be thinner. And just kind of let it do its thing. Okay, so I like this because it's transforming something that can be stressful to you right now and creating calm. And art is really all about finding your inner peace. Um, and this piece, really will do that pretty naturally. Um, I'm not gonna go through this whole process, but you would continue that throughout your whole paper, okay? Keep outlining anything, and anytime you see a point, you're gonna round those out. If you ended up with a small shape, like right here, this is gonna be really hard for me to kind of fill just that little section in, so I'm just gonna go ahead and fill this whole shape in. And then on the other side, I'm gonna round that out. Okay, so you're gonna keep going until you find all of the corners, you outline all of your lines. If you feel like it's too empty, you can go in and add another shape over the top in a few places. So I'm gonna add a couple of circles and then I would continue that same process and all the new areas of rounding out those shapes. So here's one that I previously started, because uh, I just want to talk about color. You can leave it black and white. Uh, you can go in and color with colored pencils, uh, markers. You could watercolor paint it. Uh, what they did at the workshop on Facebook was they took a new color. Um, these Tombow markers, which you might not have, it just could be Crayola as well, and went over some edges. I'm going to add just a, a few little lines of this lime green. And then I'm taking a watercolor brush with just some plain water. And this is going to kind of activate some of the pigments and soften some of those lines. So you could go in and add color. You could even then go over and Sharpie again on top of it once it's dry. You could go over with a white pen or a white colored pencil. You end up really getting some beautiful uh, 
results. And again, I like this because it's very relaxing, uh, which I think we could all use right now. This is the one that I did Friday night. I switched stuck to a color palette um, of just a few colors so that it was a little bit more cohesive. So I'll be posting this on Google Classroom tomorrow morning. Uh, if you are at Coolidge and uh, you do one of these, I'd love for you to add it to the slide share. Uh, if you're not at Coolidge and you do this, I would love to see uh, some of these maybe on Instagram. All right, take care guys, have a great day.